Wondering how verbs work in Finnish? Welcome to Finnish with Sean. Here I will be your companion on your journey of learning Finnish. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment below. <laughs> Finnish verbs can be divided into six groups. Verbs of the same type have the same conjugation. In learning Finnish, a particular attention must be paid to verbs that ends in K, P, T. So then, we'll be moving to the types of verbs that you'll be encountering when you're speaking Finnish. The first type one is the verbs that are ending with two vowels. Okay, so those would be the type one verbs that you'll come across. For example, if you want to take the Finnish word for to take, that would be otta. Otta. You see, it ends with the two last vowels beginning the double ones. And if you want to have a good example of to buy in Finnish, that would be osta. Osta. And with many, many other examples that also end with two vowels at the end. The next one, the type two verbs, are the verbs that will be ending with either d a d or d a d. For example, you have the Finnish word for to get. That would be sada, sada. Or to say, if you want to say to eat, you say syödä, syödä. Those are the ones that end with the d a d or d a d. Moving on, we'll be getting to the type three verbs. The verbs in the third group are the ones that end with either l a la or l a la. For example, olla is how you say to be in Finnish, and that ends with l a olla. To be or not to be. Uh, you also have, also in the third group of verbs, the ones that end either in na, na or na, na. Like how you say to go in Finnish, menna, menna. Or if you want to say to bite, you say purra. Burra. The type four verbs are the ones that either end in ata, ata, ota, ota, yta, uta, or ata, ata. For example, if you want to say to want in Finnish, you'll say Haluta, or to say if you want to say to order, tilata. Those end up with the same ata ata ones. And by the by, in YouTube, tilata in Finnish also means subscribe. <coughs> Type five verbs are the ones that end in ita, 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 or with I T A ita. If you hear somebody saying tarvita, that means to need, and it ends with the I T A ita. Or if you hear somebody saying valita, that would be to choose. Valita. Though that group of verbs is slightly shorter than. For example, the third type of verbs, but they're nonetheless important and common in Finnish. 
Here we are getting to the very last one, the type six verbs. These are the types of verbs that end in ETA, ETA, or with ETA, ETA. For example, if you want to say warm up in Finnish, you go with lämmetä, lämmetä. And then if you want to go with to escape from some place, you go paeta, paeta. And most of these examples that I've been providing you with are the basic form of saying these verbs. If you want to use them in different situations, they'll be slightly altered depending on the situation. Now, when it comes to how you're supposed to change or alter some of these verbs, depending on the context, you have nothing to worry about. These are all the things that we'll be looking at at a later lesson. Please, if you're new to this channel, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and hit on the notification button to be the first to know when a new video is dropped. In our next video, we can look at the personal pronouns with examples to go with them. Nakameen!